Welcome back to the channel of and I hope you are doing absolutely well. This is Eddie back with another video. So today is gonna be the review of the Liquid Remix ROM based on Android 9.0 Pi unofficial for the Redmi Note 3. So without any further ado, let's now get started. So here's my Redmi Note 3 running the Liquid Remix ROM unofficial. By the way guys, I've already reviewed this ROM previously on my channel. The link is in the description or you can check my channel. So let me first show you the settings menu of this ROM by going into the about device section the about phone and the android version as you can see here is the android version that's android 9.0 pi the security patch is of april 5 2019 and as you can see clearly over here it says unofficial kenzo the kernel here is the xcrema x27 kernel version is 3.10.108 the build date is sunday april 7 2019 as you can see pretty much all the good stuff over here the xcrema kernel and the april security patch is up on this build so going back, talking about other things, everything remains pretty much similar in this room. They haven't added or removed anything from the system. I just didn't notice anything like that. Digital well-being is also there, works absolutely well. Security and location, fingerprint scan is also working absolutely well. Let me show you the speed, as you can see. Works well, but yeah, it's not as fast as some of the other rooms like the AEX room. It's a little bit slower than the AEX room in my opinion. So talking about the display option, as you can see here are a couple of things in the display option. One thing which I noticed over here is the switch appearance. As you can see, it's on OnePlus, which is basically this thing over here. Switches on this thing looks like OnePlus. As you can see, the setting is on OnePlus. You can put it to Material Design 2. It will just restart your system UI, as you can see. Now it is changed over here. You can put it to default if you want to. And default is this one. For me OnePlus looks a little bit neater and it looks cool over here as you can see that's why I have left it enabled. Nightlight also works fine let me show you that really quick. So going into nightlight as you can see no any brightness issue or anything like that. Brightness is pretty much well in the nightlight too. Let me turn that off and going back talking about the customization options here are a couple of customization options that comes with this room as you can see i've already reviewed those in my previous room review videos link is in the description you can check it out it's pretty much similar to those rooms i'll tell you some of the basic things over here like the navigation bar you can enable on-screen navigation buttons from here as you can see and further customize its portrait height and landscape width if you want to so going back and going into the power menu you can customize your power menu from here advanced restart comes pre-enabled if you want you can enable other things like the screenshot toggle screen record toggle flashlight etc it's your choice so going back and talking about some of the ambient display settings as you can see here it is here they are you can enable battery level if you want to so it will also show your battery percentage along with the ambient display and you can enable ambient display for new notifications so these are some of the ambient display settings over there so going back and talking about the wi-fi blues etc everything is working absolutely well i didn't have any issues with those and talking about the performance in this room, let me show you my last Geekbench score really quick. And going into the Geekbench and history, as you can see, I have got a score of 1459 for the single core and 3286 for the multi core. And the multi core score is pretty much lower than AEX ROM and other ROMs which I reviewed on this channel. It's just 3286, whereas all other rooms were able to surpass 3300 at least and AEX ROM was able to score 3500 even the Nitrogen OS was able to surpass 3400 if I remember properly but here it's really low over here as you can see but nevertheless guys there isn't any issues in terms of performance in this room. It's running really well. I didn't have any issues like lagging or anything like that. Even if you keep lots and lots of apps in the memory, it's smooth. It's smooth enough. Slight lags here and there which are not noticeable but yeah, at times lags are there. Talking about the PUBG performance, it is pretty much similar to other rooms guys. That's why I'm just not including the footage over here. It's extremely similar to other rooms. There wasn't any difference in terms of PUBG in this room and other rooms. It was handling it really well. I played PUBG for like 1 hour and there the battery drain was exactly 20%. I just recorded everything over there. For every 28 to 29 minutes of gameplay it had drained around 10% of battery exactly 10%. That's really good and the performance was also really great. In extended gameplay there were slight lags here and there. That's not because of the ROM that's present in almost every other ROM. Ultimately the PUBG gameplay was really good in this ROM not an issue with that. So talking about the battery life, let me show you my battery states really quick. So going into settings and the battery. As you can see, here is my battery usage. 
first i use youtube later i use pubg and couple of mixed usage over there as i told you the pubg drain and it's not showing correct over here it says 34 minutes and 4 percent not possible youtube i use for around half an hour there the battery drain was somewhere around 8 percent 7 to 8 percent i'm not 100 percent sure about the numbers over here these are approximates and the standby time guys standby time is just amazing in this room it had just drained around 11 to 12 percent of battery for 24 hours of standby that's really insane in my opinion because some of the rooms also drain around 16 to 17 percent of battery for 12 hours of standby but this thing had just drained around 12 percent exactly like 11 to 12 percent for around 24 hours of standby really good a big thumbs up to a developer in a nutshell the battery life in this room is good so guys talking about the camera application in this room as you can see everything works fine but 4k video recording is bugged over here 4k video recording just doesn't work as you can see it says can't connect to the camera this error is present over here that's really annoying because 4k is working in some other rooms but it is not working with this room so guys this was a quick little review of the liquid remix room running on the redmi note 3 so that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this also do follow me on instagram and facebook i'm active over there you can ask me any questions regarding tech this is all about technology 24 into 7 signing off for the moment you guys have a great day Peace.